Welcome to another Baking 101 where we're gonna be making blueberry streusel muffins. Like the real big ones, not the small ones, the big ones. Now we're gonna get our blueberry streusel muffins going. I have measured everything out already and we're gonna mix it up, get into the pans. I've already done one batch. Um, one batch is six. I want to just kind of see it. So I'm going to double mine, but I'm going to give you the recipe for one. So one batch is six and it would be one dozen if it's smaller. So let's get all of our ingredients together. It's two cups of flour and then one and a half or three quarters cups, three quarter cup of sugar, a half a cup of milk, and I actually did like a like a half and a quarter cup of milk because those seemed a little dry to me. So I'm gonna say a half plus a quarter, which is three quarters. <laughs> two eggs. Two teaspoons of baking powder. A half a teaspoon of salt and then a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then a half a teaspoon of ginger, just to give it a little kick. All right, so we're gonna mix that in. We wanna fold in our blueberries, so we're gonna get the batter going first. I love this hand mixer I got from Noah, oh my goodness. It's cordless, you charge it and go. So your batter is gonna be a little thick. It smells great. All right, let's get this puppy going. And then we're gonna fold in our blueberries. And you can use fresh or frozen, either is fine. Oh yeah, that looks way better. So it's one cup of blueberries. I put a little flour in them. If you cover them in flour just a little bit, it'll keep your batter from turning completely blue. And then you're just gonna fold the blueberries in. And then I have a scooper. I mean, it's not gonna completely work, but it'll keep it from having completely blue. All right, and you're just gonna fold them in. All right, that looks good. Even if your batter does turn a little blue, who cares, I mean. I've already sprayed my pan, now I'm gonna use my scooper. This is a cookie scooper. I use it for everything. Like, you name it, I use it. So we're just gonna fill these up. And I actually like this batter way better. The last one was just a little too thick for me. I couldn't barely mix it. My daughter Haley is upstairs cutting Gideon's hair. And he's super sensitive, so I can hear him kinda yelling up here. All right, let's get these filled. Okay, so now I have these filled. We're gonna make the streusel to go on. Heat in my oven to 375. I forgot to add the butter. It calls for a quarter, a quarter cup of butter, which is half a stick. So I had to add the butter and now my muffins are blue. What can you do? Okay, so we're gonna do the streusel topping. So it is um, one half cup of brown sugar packed, one third of flour, and then a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then a half a stick of softened butter. I'm gonna mix this together. And this is what's gonna go over the top to make the streusel. And just do it until the butter's all worked in there. I mean, if you wanna cut it, you can. I guess it's up to you, but this works just fine. Just sprinkle it on top there. I got my oven preheating. You can make this a cake if you want to. Make a streusel cake if you want. But I don't know, I just feel muffins right now. Just, I like muffins. Now let's do the other one. So this was the batch that I did that um, 
I felt was a little too stiff, so we'll see when they come okay, out. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the oven to heat up, and then I'll put these in the oven, and when we come back, you'll get to see them all nice. So I decided to make some smaller ones, and I just made a couple different batches while I'm waiting for these to cook, and I realized on my last one, it was supposed to be three quarters cup of sugar, and of course I doubled it. So I doubled it to two instead of one and a half, and so I'm like, this batter just doesn't look right, because I made this before. So this batter looks great. And I'm noticing I have the ones that I added extra milk, nada, don't add the extra milk, just do the half a cup, just do the half a cup, because I'm watching them cook and they just don't look right. And then the ones where I put a little too much sugar, <laughs> but this is how, right? Sometimes when you cook, things just don't go perfect. So these turned out really good. Um, and I thought, you know what, this would probably be better because then if somebody doesn't want a gigantic muffin, they can just have one, small one. And uh, so this batter looks great. The first one, it's like um, it's like uh, Goldilocks and Three Bears. The first one was way too hard. The second one was way too soft. And the third one is just right. <laughs> so I already have one of these in the oven. And I did make extra of the, um, the streusel top. So I have extra still to put in here. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the rain. Blame it on the rain. Yeah, yeah. So you have to be in a school from the 80s if you know where that song is. Remember that was the group that um, they had all these hits and it turns out they were lip syncing. What was it called? Oh, I can't even think of their name. Yeah, they were a singing group and it turns out that they were just lip syncing the whole time. <laughs> I can't even think what their name is. All right, this looks good. I'm gonna put a little bit over here. There we go. Oh, these look so much better. I was like thinking, man, this didn't look too good. And uh, streusel goes a long way. I did double it. And so I end up making, gosh, this is um, two, four, six, seven batches. And finally my last batch turned out. I don't know what the deal is. I haven't made them in a while. So I kind of had to get my recipe all written down and just kind of, I don't know. Maybe it's because all the kids are home and I'm used to the quiet. Maybe we'll blame it on Noah Bell. Okay, I'm gonna get these cooking and I'm pretty sure these are the ones that are gonna look amazing. I'm, I'm, I don't know what the other ones are gonna look like, but that was my mistake. Do not add the extra milk. I'll put that note in the description. So now we just have to wait for these muffins to get done and I will come back. All right, so the muffins are done. I end up doing two sizes. They turned out pretty good. Um, I did two different sizes. Here's a bigger one. And then I did the smaller ones. Some of them kind of overcooked a little bit. I think I have to stop trying to multitask, but no, they turned out really good. The big ones turned out really, really good. Look at that. And this is the one where I thought maybe there was not enough liquid and I think these turned out the best. So we're just gonna stick with the recipe I had with don't add any extra milk, but they turned out great. They smell wonderful and I can't wait to uh, serve them out to my family because you know, it's super cold today. It's cold and rainy and a lot of butter, add butter to these. I love butter. I add so much butter to everything. These are gonna be great with butter. I can't wait to try them. So they smell so good. Oh, and by the way, I used wild blueberries because where I live, wild blueberries are all over the place. And so I had picked so many last year frozen. And so I was able to use them and they're smaller. So I think using smaller blueberries really help when you bake or put them into like cookies or whatever, because then you're not biting down. It's like, oh, it's all a blueberry. They're small enough. So they kind of blend with the baked part too. And so I used my own wild blueberries that me and my kids picked for hours. Every year we pick blueberries for hours and um, so they, they're gonna be even extra better or extra good because they are wild blueberry streusel muffins. Super yummy. All right, well thank you so much for joining me on our Baking 101 and don't forget to follow Just the Bells 10. Thank you so much for your support for our family and our page and have a wonderful day.